hey 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 welcome back to my channel so before i even start this video i would like to thank each and every one of you as you can see we hit 10 thousand subscribers thank you thank you so much i'm so so grateful so as you can see from the title today i'm gonna show you how i roast my whole chicken i must say this is spicy so if you don't like spices don't watch this video so enough of the talking let's just get started I've also got some ginger and finally I have here some sweet pepper this is going to add some extra flavor to it so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to blend all this together you can adjust it depending on your taste if you don't like too much garlic just take out some of the garlic it's just up to you also we are going to be needing some anise seeds and I'm going to add it to my garlic and onions to blend I'm also going to be needing some cloves and as you can see I have here about four to five you know cloves are very strong so you don't need too much just a little bit is going to go a long way so I'll put them in a paper towel then with the help of a rolling pin I'll just heat it up to break it up and here we are make sure you don't get the paper into the food so this is my blended onion, garlic, ginger, sweet pepper and anise paste. I'll get some rosemary and chop it into pieces. I'll then add it to the paste. Then I'll come in with my cloves. I'll come in with some chili pepper, a little bit of curry and drop in my favorite seasoning. I'll grind in some black pepper and come in with some oregano. I'll come in with about a tablespoon full of olive oil and finally come in with some salt. Using a spoon I will mix everything up. This is going to be our seasoning for the chicken and this is the most important part. Set this aside for later. So as you can see, I have my beautiful chicken here. This chicken has long legs and it looks very slender. It looks like, you know, he or she was a model. First of all, I'll cut off the tip of the wings. Then I'll get rid of its ass. I mean, nobody wants to eat so chicken's ass. It looks like this chicken has got some huge fat bump. It looks like it got some, you know, silicone implants. With my little skill in anatomy, I'm just going to get rid of the internal organs. So this is the gizzard and the liver. Whoa, that's a huge hole. Next, I'll come in with some lemon. I'll just rub it on the chicken. This is going to help get rid of, you know, any smell. I mean, it's just going to neutralize the smell of the chicken. I'll just rub, rub, rub. Don't forget the underarm area because it's been sweating. Don't forget in between the thighs and all that. Just rub, rub, rub. Afterwards, I'll just rinse it off. So I'll just get my mixture and rub it on my chicken. Don't forget the inner side too. I'm definitely going to put some of the seasoning over there. Don't forget about the neck area, the underarm in between the thighs, the back area. Just put it everywhere. And hey, if you can't stand the chili pepper, you can take it out. It's just up to you. So I'm all done now. And afterwards, with the help of a thread, I will just tie its legs together. And I'll put some of the seasoning on top of the chicken. So before it goes into the oven, I'm going to bless it with some white wine. I'll baptize it in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now it is ready to go into the oven. I have preset my oven to 180 degrees Celsius. So I'll put it in the oven and roast it for an hour. So it's been after one hour and this is what we have here. I'll just turn it over. Now 
baptize it again with some white wine. White wine makes chicken taste so so great. Then put it in the oven again for another hour. So basically we're going to need about two hours to roast this chicken. So 30 minutes before it's ready I will put on the fan in the oven. This is going to increase the temperature and it's also going to dry it up and you know brown it a little bit more. And if you do this, you have to reduce the temperature to about 150 degrees Celsius. So whilst that is, I'll put a pan on fire and come in with some oil. I'll come in with some sliced onions. I use a medium sized onion. Then I'll come in with my favorite seasoning, some black pepper and a teaspoonful of honey. I will let this cook on low fire for about 10 to 15 minutes. So it's been about 10 to 15 minutes and our onions are ready. So I'll just put off the fire and I'll set it aside for later. So it's been about two hours and our chicken is ready. I'll get it out of the pan and put it in a beautiful plate. And I'll pour my honey onions onto it. Now I must tell you, this makes it so so tasty. The sweet taste from honey and the spices from the chicken gourd. You need to try this. Afterwards, I'll sprinkle some green peas onto it. And ladies and gentlemen, our roasted chicken is ready. This chicken is a VVIP, so you better show him some respect. This is it guys, what do you think about this? Are you going to give it a try? If you do, let me know in the comment section how it comes out for you. This is definitely going to please your visitors. And if it does, don't forget to say thank you in the comment section. So, if you've not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with family and friends and don't forget to leave me that thumbs up. Until next time, I am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye.